you can't explain it, but you know it's got to have something to do with your mind a little bit. Cautious, 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 and then we decided to go with a zero blitz, which isn't cautious, and they had the right play call. Brought to you by Wendy's. Let us bring the tailgate to you with delivery. Cutcliffe called it cautious, but the reality is it's called prevent. The prevent defense, umbrella coverage, where you're giving up short so that you don't get beat deep. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, all you're doing is giving up first downs that ultimately can lead to touchdowns that get you beat, as we saw it happen against the Duke Blue Devils. We see here a late blitz, but that's okay. You're rushing three. They've got six to block three because this guy's never going to get there. He doesn't factor into the equation, so you're going to get this out route for a first down. First downs also stop the clock in college football, so they are in prime position now to get down the field. They're moving towards Duke's side of the field, and they are moving with bad intentions to go get points, points that are going to put them ultimately in the lead. Duke shows pressure. They've got five men up near the line of scrimmage, but instead they only rush the three. You rush three, they've got six to block three. That's, um, that's two men for every one guy that Duke's got. And then Kenny Pickett has plenty of time to find the matchup that he wants down the field. He loves this one right here. He is working overtime. The Duke defender is working overtime to not get beat over the top. So what do you do? You put that ball on his back hip so that he can stop, make a play, boom. Defender doesn't have an opportunity to break that ball up, and we know how that story ended. Duke ultimately took the loss. Here you're gonna see Utah State. Look at all the space that they're giving to these Wake Forest wide receivers. 35, 31, 219 to go. You're only gonna rush four, which means you're gonna give Jamie Newman plenty of time. And instead of the Mountain West getting a big upset victory, they got a big, they're gonna be big upset with the reason, with the way they gave this up because of that prevent defense, all the space. And look at this slant right here for Kendall Hinton. Look at the bubble of air around him. Nobody's here to make a play. They're not close, they're not close, they're not close. And that's a first down, you can see the line. First down for Wake Forest as they continue to advance towards, towards enemy territory to go get points. It takes a long time for people to get involved in making this tackle. And now the next is a big play from Sage Surratt. They only rush four again, and you get Sage Surratt down the field over the top of the defensive back, and he's able to take them down inside the five where Wake Forest is hunting points. And we know how that game ended as well. Wake got the W. But it's not just in the ACC. We're going to go out to Hawaii where Khalil Tate took advantage of Hawaii's prevent defense to almost pull out a big win. Everybody at the table is all in. Tate. They're going to take Step their shot up. here. Five seconds. He Tate. can go. He oh, can no. go. He Tate. can do this. He's going to have the to lead. saw Khalil Tate come up a little bit short, but Hawaii should have never been in that position in terms of getting that big W. They shouldn't have played it that close, but what do we see here? Look at the cushion. Lots of space, right? Of course, 12 yards? We're going to give him 12 yards? That's a free first down right here, and then you're only going to rush three, and they've got six guys in the block. Not what you want to do if you're Hawaii. You're giving them an opportunity, and Khalil Tate has been better than ever in the pocket. You see here, that's a free first down. It's like Oprah. You get a first down, and you get a first down, and you get a first down. When you play prevent defense, you're going to see the same thing here again. No defensive backs in the picture. We don't have any defensive backs, none of them in the picture. They're only rushing three. We've got one linebacker right here. That's all you've got. That's not a way to win because you're giving them, again, a free first down. There's 30 seconds to go, and they still have plenty of time to move the ball down the field methodically, and we're going to see it happen again. Boom, Khalil Tate. Find your guy. Let's hit him. Okay, no problem. Now we're on your side of the field, and we are hunting points. That's what we're going out for. We want a TD. We know that Khalil Tate comes up just a little bit short, but the reality is because they played such soft coverage, because they played that prevent defense, they only pre they almost prevented themselves from getting a big win. So we've seen Duke play cautious football, right? We saw them play off, play cautious, rush three, rush four. Now what do they do? Now this is a situation where they're going to dial up a zero blitz. So you're going to get man coverage right here, man coverage right here, and man coverage right here. And the more important thing is you're going to get a dog coming from these guys. You have man coverage at the bottom of the screen. You're going to see the pressure coming from right here. And what they ask this guy to do is one of the hardest things to do in football. And that's show blitz so that you can sell, sell the offensive line, and then get back out into space to cover this running back. And guess what? When Kenny Pickett sees this, he recognizes that it is game over. You cannot cover that guy. It's an impossible thing to do in college football. Boom, you see him there. 
and this is the guy that you want to cover this running back out of the backfield? Absolutely not. No, sir. He doesn't stand a chance. Doesn't belong even in the play. And this is a touchdown for Pitt for Kenny Pickens. This is one of the e Kenny Pickett. This is one of the easiest plays that he's going to make because that defensive end has no chance to cover that running back. You try to go aggressive late. You should have went aggressive a little bit earlier, so you wouldn't have been in that position. And ultimately, Pitt wouldn't be the team that's celebrating the big W coming off another big W against UCF. So I think the big key here: prevent defense, only prevent you from winning. Stop running it. This is another episode of Tape Don't Lie. Brought to you by Wendy's. Let us bring the tailgate to you with delivery.